Hey guys, it's Alex here. Today we have a BMW G87 M2 in the workshop and I'll be walking you through on how to change these factory DRLs to our color changing RGB DRLs. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what's inside the box. This is the Bluetooth controller and this controls the RGB DRL modules. You can change the colors, you can change the modes. We've got two DRL modules here, one for the left headlight, one for the right. Two T-tap connectors. Uh, this is used to splice the wires to your harness should you want to do it that way. And we have the heatsink plaster. And finally, we have instructions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos. So here I've got the Bluetooth controller. I'll just walk you through what wires are what. So we've got two ribbon cables and these are for the DRL modules. We've got the red wire for the power and we've got the black wire for the ground. This is just an inline fuse. What I have prepared earlier was this double-sided tape, which I've stuck behind the controller. Uh, it's up to you where you want to install this controller, but I'll be showing you where I will be installing it today. Get your power and ground wires and just put it behind the headlight. In this demonstration, I will be using the right side. I'll be mounting the Bluetooth controller over here. And I'll be uh, wiping it down with some IPA for the best adhesion. They're just sitting nicely over here. So we have two lengths of ribbon cable. Find the shorter length and just put it behind the headlight. We'll be needing this one later. With the longer ribbon cable, how I would run this to the other side is pull this wire out of the holders. Insert the ribbon wire, like so, and just reinstall these. And we'll just put this behind the left headlight. To get to the DRL modules, I'm gonna to have to first take off the wheels. Once the wheel has been removed, we need to remove the wheel liner, which is held in by 12 10 mil bolts. The heatsink is held in by three T20 torque screws. There's one over here, one over there, and another one over here. Once the screws have been removed, gently pull the heatsink away from the headlight. And you'll notice that there is a plug. Just push it up to release. So I'll be removing the factory DRL module, which is held in by two T20 torque screws. I'll now be installing our RGB DRL modules back into the heatsink. You'll notice that behind there is thermal paste. We just need to remove the backing paper for it. Line it up with the pins. And then secure back with the T20 Torx screws. The Bluetooth controller requires power and ground, and this plug over here is gonna be the most convenient way to get that. To remove this plug, pull out the red locking tab, press and pull. Carefully remove the tape to expose the wires. 
The black wire is for the ground and the red and green wire is for power. You can use the provided T-tap connectors, but we prefer to solder the connections together. Just apply some electrical tape to protect the wires. Seal the exposed wiring with electrical tape. Then reconnect the headlight plug. Here we have the heatsink. Release the locking tab from the module by gently pulling it up. Grab the ribbon cable and just make sure the terminals are facing down. Insert and then press the tab down to lock it in. Reconnect the plug back into the module and then reinstall the heatsink. Secure the wiring with cable ties and tape just to keep things nice and tidy. Now that I've completed the installation, I'm going to run you through the functionality of the DRL modules. Here's an example of one of the many startup animations. And a taste of a few show modes. Here we have flashing. Gradual change. breathing lamp. 